Hello, my friends. Good evening. We are going to well check who do we have here. Vamos a revisar a quien tenemos por acá. 
I'm going to check the message first. Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Um, this topic, well, the topic of tonight is really, really interesting. And I consider that it is uh, useful for English every time. So, uh, hello, good evening, everyone. The topic is how to use phrasal verbs. I guess you have seen or you have listened this um, topic, phrasal verbs. If you don't, you're going to understand uh, this topic uh, very easy because it is not like complicated since you already know uh, some words. Okay, so phrasal verb. Ya lo vamos a estudiar. So um, here we have this. Mention three apps you always use. I mean, uh, the applications you commonly use uh, with your cell phone, your tablet. It could be with your smart TV, even if, if uh, that smart TV has Android system. Particularly, you're going to use a lot of apps. So please, I need to text here, be honest. Text the apps that you consider useful, that you use every day, maybe for your entertainment, or you use some apps for work even, because here we have some apps that are useful for work, okay? I'm going to check, um, I'm going to check your answers, please. If you use, for example, Telegram, Okay, you can text that. Or if you use, for example, cam scanner, or if you use, yeah, Facebook. Facebook is included, so. Depends on you. Select three apps that you always use with your cell phone, with your tablet, with your smart TV. I'm going to be checking your answers.
Okay. Uh, let's check what well your answers. Um, Guillermo says WhatsApp, TikTok, and Spotify. Okay. Um, let's see. Daniel always use Clash Roy, <laughs> Clash of Clans. Okay, and sometimes TikTok. Okay. Um, the last year I used a lot of Clash Royale, but now I don't use it. Eduardo says WhatsApp, TikTok, Spotify. Okay, similar to Guillermo, right? Riva says, only use Tigo Sport and Back. Of course, Back and some other from banks, really useful. Uh, Rivas, a uh, question. How about Tigo Sport? Is it good? Yes, it's the, the soccer, the partido de football. Okay, soccer, soccer match. Okay, you you can watch them. One question: How much do you pay for that, or is it for free? It's free. It's free. Mm, really? Okay. Interesting. Yes, uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Rivas. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Here we have also. Susie so says WhatsApp, Twitter. The now it's. X and Facebook, okay. Um, Rosalie says, what's up, Facebook? Deezer, uh, yeah, I have I have an idea that Deezer is an app for music. Uh, Rosalie, are you there? Hi. Okay, maybe, well, I guess Rosalie is having some rain. So, no, teacher. Oh, everything okay? Está fuerte la lluvia. Sí, teacher. Más que se fue la luz. Y no sé si me van a alcanzar los datos. Ok, yo creo que sí. Es muy probable que sí. Las últimas clases yo les he estado trabajando con datos. So, uh, okay. Sometimes the signal is not so good. La señal a veces no es tan buena. But ah, sí. yeah, you can have it. Ok, uh, one question. If you compare Deezer with Spotify and YouTube, uh, do you consider that Deezer is better? It is the same um, the Spotify. Uh, the same as Spotify, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And only music and download music and, and with and without connection. Sí, mm, mm, es más parecida a okay, Spotify. Okay, Spotify, okay. And how much do you pay? How much for this, sir? It's the same, es igual, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo, page, page, mismo pay, pay, uh, okay. okay, the same uh, as, as Spotify, okay. Okay. So, mm, thank you, uh, Rosalie. And here we have Maritza. Okay, Maritza, hello. We are talking about apps. And here we have also, hello, Maritza. Here also, David. Yeah, maybe you can tell us what are the apps that you use the most? Maritza and David. And what's up? Pinterest. Okay. Okay. And Telegram. And Telegram. Okay, that's it. Good. Mm -hmm. Of course. Hello, it is teacher. David, hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the apps. Uh, I use. Ways. Ways. Ah, ways. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. You consider that that is one of the most important. Okay. Okay. So, 
Thank you, everybody. Um, we're going to start with the topic that is phrasal verbs. Okay. Phrasal verbs are um, verbs that are composed by two words, the main verb and the preposition or some other word. Or it can be another uh, verb. Entonces, los, eh, los verbos, eh, los eh, phrasal verbs, normalmente están compuestos del verbo principal y una preposición u otra palabra. Ustedes ya conocen eh, estos antes de ver los difíciles y se los voy a mostrar. I'm going to show you. Por ejemplo, you already know this. You are, um, okay, and there's another, okay, these are price alberts, estos son los price alberts que ustedes conocen, for example, turn on, encender, turn off, apagar. Come on, venir, stand up, ponerse de pie, sit down, sentarse, get out, salir, come in, entrar. So, there are some others that are really common, que son bastante comunes. Entonces, ¿qué les estoy diciendo? Que este es el verbo principal acompañado con una preposición o con otra palabra. Es diferente que si ustedes dicen, ah, es el otro que es wake up. Despertarse, ok. So, si ustedes, por ejemplo, tienen work, es trabajar. Pero si ponen workout, ¿verdad? Es solucionar. Eh, si ustedes se encuentran, por ejemplo, uh, hay bastantes. Watch es mirar, pero watch out es con cuidado, mira con cuidado. Okay, so uh, let's see some other phrasal verbs that maybe you know or you're going to memorize. Okay, here we have. Check off is make a mark next to. Let on, make clear evidence. Get around to travel to different places. Pass out. Te puede decir pass out or pass out. Become unconscious. Break into, interrupt. Go alone, to continue or to happen. Carry on, continue. Uh, bring back, uh, fetch something. Back out, okay. Withdraw from something. Make for is to prepare. Let down is like disappoint, okay. Wipe out is like get dry. So, um, maybe you can mention one of these. I'm going to check the attendance list. And I need you to... Say hi, hello, or good evening if you listen to your name. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to call you one by one and you say hi, hello, good evening, and please mention one of these uh, common fries adverbs. Uh, Adi, not here. Christy, uh, do we have Christy? Okay, Luisa, not here. Andre, not here by the moment. Rivas, we start with you, Rivas. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Let on. Perfect. Thank you. 
We go with Daniel. Present teacher, let, let on. Okay. Uh, David. Back out. Thank you. Um, Evelyn. Present Okay, thank you. Guillermo, hi. Teacher, uh, carry on. Thank you. Uh, John, I guess he is as a listener. Katia, are you there, Katia? Not by the moment. Okay, Maritza? Present. Check thank you. Off. Okay. Oh, thank you. Gustavo, do we have Gustavo here? I guess no. Uh, Oscar Daniel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh. Um, back out. Okay, perfect. Eduardo. Hi. Hi, teacher. Bring Hello. back. Thank you. Uh, Rosalia, I know that she's there. I'm here. Thank you. Go along. Okay, perfect. And Susie. Okay, maybe not here by the moment. Well, uh, we're going to know some other Frisal birds. Vamos a conocer otros Frisal birds y los tenemos acá. Bien. Here we have a conversation between Dave and Tom. Okay. So if you notice, it is about some machinery, some equipment. And it says like this. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will cease up eventually. That's correct. Así que tenemos lo siguiente. Tom, necesito tu ayuda. ¿Puedes pasarme la llave, por favor? Necesito apretar este tornillo. Tighten up this screw. Seguro, aquí tienes. Muchas gracias. Mira. Y le pregunta. Eh, ¿Kid limpió el cuarto antes de irse? Sí, él limpió. Lo sé porque le pedí que apagara el switch de power. Genial, por cierto, llamas al, al eh, electricista. El motor no se detiene hasta, hasta apagarse. Y ahora tenemos un problema. Sí, creo que si no lo aceitas, no le echas aceite regularmente, eh, se va a endurar. Es correcto. So here we have some of the price adverbs. Teacher. Hola. Pronunciation in this, this word. Which word? Titan or Tainen? Es Titan. Puede decir Titan. Con T o con R. Titan up or Titan up. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's check the pronunciation. Uh, tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, turn off, this up, this up. Okay, the rest of the words you already know it. But here we have some technical vocabulary. También tenemos vocabulario técnico porque aquí dice spanner. Spanner es la llave. 
eh, tighten up es apretar, and screw es tornillo. Thank you so much, Maritza, for the screenshot. And we're going to work with the breakout rooms. Bien, vamos a trabajar en las salas. Okay, we're going to practice, please. See you in a moment. Accept the request. Okay, Daniel, please accept the request. Si te llegó, Daniel, me avisa, please. Sí, sí, ahorita. Perfect.
Okay, welcome back, my friends. Um, I'm going to pronounce again. This price adverb. Okay. So in this case, these phrasal verbs are like this. Um, tighten up or tighten up, clean up, switch off, call up, uh, turn off, seize up. Okay. Maybe we can have some participations in this case. Can we listen to Eduardo, please? Um, Eduardo, you were working with Rivas, right? Rivas, yes. Okay, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I start. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to get in up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way. Did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you, if you don't oil the regal, regularly, it will set up eventually. That's correct. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, very good pronunciation, uh, Eduardo and Rivas. We're going to have some other, maybe, um, let's see, Maritza and Rosalie. Could you please? Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. Maritza? Oh, oh. <laughs> please. I'm <laughs> Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me email, please? I need to tighten up the script. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, the clean clean up the room before. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked it him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That Thank you. Yeah, that's correct. So these are some uh, phrasal verbs. And here we have, let me check. Okay, here we have some uh, questions. Uh, let's see, number one says, what seems to be the problem? Number two, what kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? And three, who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? Okay, we're going to focus on question one and question two. Guillermo, could you help me with one of these? And question number one or question number two? Could you? Okay, maybe Guillermo is not available. If not, we can listen to David. David, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, let's try to answer question one or question two. Uh, number one. Uh -huh. What uh, seems to be the problem? Uh -huh. the, what do you think it is the problem? The engine doesn't stop stop to to off to turn and off and now we uh -huh, and now we have a problem we have a problem so that's the problem with the engine on the motor yeah that's it thank you 
Okay, uh, maybe we can have Eduardo. Could you help me with um, number two? What kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? Okay, so here we have two workers. Eduardo, any idea? Uh, yes, I think they they are they are uh, no sé cómo se mantenimiento. Man, okay, maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. That's it. Very, very nice. Yeah. Because here they say um electrician, but it's another person. Yeah. So yes. they are maintaining. Yeah, of course, Eduardo. Very well done. Being hecho. Okay. okay. Um, let's see here. Tell the name of your favorite app and its functions. Okay. Let's text. Vamos a escribir en un texto, ¿ok? Um, for example, I'm going to say this one because I like it. I definitely like this. It is cam scanner. ¿Ok? What is the function? It scans documents or photographs. Okay, so that's it. So that's it. Um, we're going to say this. Uh, select one app because uh, at the beginning you you mentioned three apps. Okay, so here here that is mine. Cam scanner. It scans documents or programs. Okay, so I need you to everybody do this. So van a hacer esto. Okay, uh, select one app. I know that some for you, for some of you can be Instagram or Pinterest, as you mentioned, Facebook, okay, whoever. I'm sorry, whatever. So I'm going to be waiting for your answers and I like to listen. Ok, así que vamos a estar, bueno, si no me los escriben, um, voy a preguntarles, ¿verdad? sugiero que lo escriban mejor, es más fácil, it's easier. Okay, guys, I'm waiting for your answers. Estoy esperando las respuestas. Um, acerca de cuál es la aplicación favorita que utilizan y tu función. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we have some. And definitely here we have some other. Vamos a ver. Tengo otra imagen para ustedes. Y 
Y quiero que me digan um, cuántas veces la utiliza. How often? ¿Cuántas veces? Sé que algunos me pueden decir always, often, pero quiero que me digan, por ejemplo, three times a day, tres veces al día, four times a day, or twice a day. Depends on you, because I consider if you are saying that that is the app that you use the most, it, it's because you use it every day. Quiere decir always. But how often, pero qué tan a menudo. Okay, so we're going to start here. David, okay. Could you read your answer, please, uh, David? Hello, teacher. Uh, my favorite app is Waze. Uh, this app allows me to arrive exactly at an address that I don't know. Okay. How often? I ¿Qué use, tan a menudo lo usas? How often do you use it? I use three times a week. Okay. Like three times a week. Okay. In some other uh, times, you use it like uh, more than that, right? When you have some other, yeah, places to go. Thank you. Yeah, Waze, it's a, it's a really good one. And David, we have like, there are some people that they like Google Maps. But Waze is like, it's like better, right? So, Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo, please. Yes, teacher. Okay, your turn. Uh, in my case, I I write three applications. Mm -hmm. WhatsApp Business uh, by the automatic request, Google Maps, uh, the help with the routes, and OneDrive, the synchronization with my laptop. Okay, when you say WhatsApp business, uh, that is for products? It is yes, that, that, for... That, that, that is application uh, by enterprise. Okay. Uh, and... to, mm -hmm. to have uh, many information or many functions. So I can use to the information about the company. Mm -hmm. Interesting, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eduardo. Yeah, I guess that that's really interesting because even there are some online stores you can buy online by WhatsApp, right? You can buy yes, a product. Yes. So that's a very, but very useful. Uh, thank you. Evelyn, what about you, Evelyn? Mm, oh, why? Mm -hmm. um... Always. Okay, tell me your answer. For Spotify? Spotify. Okay. Please. Uh, I'm not going. Lo uso una vez al día. Okay, once a day. Once a day. Mm -hmm. Once a day, always. Always Spotify once a day. Okay. Y tu respuesta era because has many. Right. Okay. Um, Oscar Daniel. Here we have Oscar Daniel. Uh, my favorite my app, right? Is... Uh, my favorite app is Spotify. <laughs> Uh, what do you use the most for music or for podcast? Um, um, como diría por ambas? <laughs> Both. Ambas. Ya te escribo la palabra. Both. Both. Okay. Uh, is the is 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 perfect. Um. Um. um any moments, uh, driver, a uh, driver, uh, travel, etc. In, mm -hmm. in the bus, uh, okay. uh, usually, 
uh, I use it uh, for hours for day. Okay, yes, you use it a lot. Yeah, because you are driving or you are traveling, listening, maybe yes. at lunch, sometimes we are eating, you can listen, yeah, for hours, yes. it, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's a good, that was a good description. Gustavo and then Luisa, okay, Gustavo? Okay, teacher. Uh... My favorite app is WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. I help me to communicate uh, to work and with my family. Okay. How often? ¿Qué tan a menudo lo usas? How often? At every moment in my work uh, to communicate with my client. Okay, client. with your clients. Okay, so that's a tool for you. It's una herramienta, right? That's a tool yes. for your job. Thank you, Gustavo. Okay, so uh, every time, like maybe 50 times a day, maybe. Thank you. Okay, Luisa says WhatsApp as well, Luisa. Okay, teacher. Um, it's always uh, there the info me on income the personal, my boss and me instruction. Y um, we send pay, payroll payment. And the second app is uh, only banking. Okay. We okay. do to save time and you can buy the many things. Okay. Okay. I, I guess it's really useful. Thank you. Okay, Rosalie, it's your turn. Um, for me, the app is dessert. <laughs> it's friends of find songs favorite artists and make my own list of songs. And the often I often use the all day in my workplace. Okay, that, that's a, an, an advantage. Uh, when you can have your earpods or your headphones, uh, your headset, you're listening, you're working, that's really positive. So you can listen a lot of music or post podcasts, right, uh, Rosalie? Yeah, I have heard about this app, about this uh, platform of music and podcast. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can try. Thank you, Rosalie. Good recommendation. For you. Oh, here we have some other. Maybe Guillermo. I don't know if Guillermo is ready to share and then Rivas. Uh, yes, teacher. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite app is WhatsApp, I think. And mm -hmm. um, also TikTok. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I use every day both, both apps. Um, the first one, WhatsApp, to communicate with my friends, with my family, with my boss, with my co-workers. And TikTok is more for having fun. Okay. Yeah, of course. And But even in TikTok, you can find a lot of good information, right? It is for fun, yeah. <laughs> but also you can have for educational, academic. It's for even, and there are a lot of information about music, movies. Yeah, it's like YouTube, but in brief. <laughs> like YouTube, but in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you, Guillermo. Um, maybe Rivas and Daniel. The teacher, my favorite app is Canva. Design Come. program to make communication. I use it a lot at work. I use it two or three times a day. I use it a lot. And even in Canva, you can do a lot of things, right? Like invitations, uh, degrees, diplomas, yes. uh, like flashcards, uh, brochures, videos. slides, videos. Yeah, I guess Canva is very complete. A very complete... Yes. 
platform or app. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it. Yes. Thank you, uh, Rivas. Uh, who else? Daniel, maybe? My favorite uh, application is you see. It's an application usually you use I use once a week. It's it is to check the cameras in my house anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. So you can be connected, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be connected like that. Okay. Very nice. You can watch even. You uh, you can have cameras at home and you are traveling to another part of El Salvador, but you can see what is happening, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Very useful. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. And Maritza, que se me está escondiendo. Hi, Maritza. No, yo le escribí en el chat. Sí. Sí. Vamos a aparecer es que... aquí, es que creo que como salió, se ya no aparece, pero ah, sí eh, ahí está. Eh, buena excusa, Maritza. Me gusta. Casi no, la creo, Marisa. casi la creo. Nah, come on. Ok, but you can tell me. I'm sorry, Maritza. I'm sorry. Yeah, my internet is okay. having some difficulty. Mm -hmm. Ok. My favorite app is Pinterest because there are many ideas of everything like craft, clothes, high tail, nice. Yes, it is like, as you mentioned, different ideas. And um, mm -hmm. you can have a lot of ideas. For example, you can decorate your house or one room. Yeah. For example, and you maybe you can have an idea, but you will want some inspiration, some examples. I didn't use Pinterest before, but now I like it. Yeah, I like it. That, that's a, a very amazing app. Thank you. Okay, thanks, my friends. Um, apps are for entertainment or for working, for learning. We have a lot of benefits, as always. Okay. What is your favorite apps? Well, my in my case, uh, well, I have some, but maybe Spotify. I listen a lot of uh podcasts. Um, even Rivas, uh, the last, I don't remember what number of class was that, but you mentioned about financial advisory. Um, recently, I have listened a lot of financial education. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm focusing Excellent. on that. Excellent. Yeah, uh, it is another universe. And I realized that, wow, we make mistakes every day with the administration of our money. So I'm learning. I'm learning. So, padre rico, padre pobre, yeah, of course. That's it. That's another audio books. Perfect. Because sometimes we don't have, yeah, best salary. Yes. Uh, that's another that is Atomic Habits. Habitos Atomicos. That's another that I recommend you. Yeah, really good. So, well, we have a lot of information. Tenemos mucha información. Yeah, teacher. Available. So that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Well, um, let's continue with this about how to use two word phrasal verbs. Okay. Uh, as I was uh, telling you, phrasal verbs are verbs composed by two words, composed por dos palabras. So maybe we have here, Maritza, could you read, please? Some verbs. Some verbs are two parts. Verb. Mm -hmm. They consist on a verb and a particle. 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 Mm -hmm. Or a small word like a preposition. That's it. The particle often. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. Okay. Yeah. That's it. For example, listen is escucha. Escuchar. Pero cuando, cuando alguien le dice, listen up, como escúchame, es como que you make more emphasis with that phrase, ¿ok? Eh, 
So that's it, right? Um, for example, as I was telling, watch is mirar. But watch out, uh, for example, uh, you have like this cup in the final line of a, of a table. La, la tienes en la parte, la orillita de la mesa. Y se va a caer. Hey, you can say, watch out, watch out. Es como, cuidado, mira. Y todo eso. Entonces, you, so you can make a, like, a more emphasis about that. That's uh, one example. We have a lot of examples. Okay, so take plus after. He takes after his father. It means he looks like his father or he behaves like his father. Fíjense bien. Take after significa parecerse. Fíjense bien. Parecerse. So he takes after his father. Él se ve. He looks like his father. Él se ve como su papá. Or he behaves like his father. O él eh, se comporta. Behave es comportarse. He behaves like his father. In any way, looks like or behaves, but they are talking about like similarities. Como uh, similaridades. Okay? Um, here we have. Call off. Mary called off the meeting. It means Mary canceled the meeting. Hey, teacher, but why can't you use just cancel instead of using call off? And we uh, say time, we are not going to have any problem using phrasal verbs. But of course, yes, I can say, sí, se puede utilizar cancel. But in English, common English or native English, en el inglés nativo, phrasal verbs son super comunes. Super comunes. So, called off, es como cancelar, ok sí, lo ideal sería que no existiera, so English could be easier, podría ser más fácil en inglés, but I'm sorry, they exist existen y pues nos complica un poquito la vida, vamos a ver acá estamos aprendiendo siempre más match the each bird with the, each prepositions Complete each sentence with one of them. Okay. Ya tenemos tighten. Okay. And these um, phrasal verbs are the ones that we have in the conversation. I'm going to give this a couple of seconds just for you to have an idea. And then we complete uh, the, the other exercise. Uh, Dele una revisada y lo completamos. Okay, um, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, we're going to uh, complete part one, this part, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can have Rosalie. Here we have Titan Up. Which, uh, mm -hmm. which one do, do you choose? Vamos con esa parte primero, this part first, okay? And number two, hmm? switch off. 
Okay, switch off. Thank you. Definitely clean up easy, right? Okay, and we're going to select here. Guillermo, please, could you help me? Uh, select number four, five, or six from these ones. Okay. Setting uh, uh, number number four. Number four. Says up. Okay, maybe we can say like this. Okay, say so. Thank you. Maritza, five or six? Number five. Mm -hmm. Turn off. Okay, turn off. Thank you. And obviously, call up. Okay, call up. Okay, now here we have uh, sentences from two to six, because number one is already complete. Uh, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt, okay? Um, maybe we can have this. Okay, just give me a second. Davey, you're ready, my friend? Yes, teacher, uh, number two. Okay. This workshop, this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Okay, let's clean up, yeah. Let's clean up, yeah, this place, definitely. Okay, uh, some other volunteer? Yeah, that's it, so clean up. Let's clean up, vamos a limpiar bien, vamos como dejar super limpio. Okay, so now the this is already taken. This. Teacher, the number three. Okay, number three. Remember, switch off the power before you remove the machine. Thank you. Yeah, so important. Mm -hmm to switch off the machinery or equipment. It can be big machines or it can be a computer or printer, whatever. Thank you. Um, What about if we listen Gustavo? Four, five, or six, Gustavo. Six, teacher. Okay, six. And the, the, the printer choose Stop and working. We we need to call up call up a teacher. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it is it is like an emergency to call up a technician. Thank you, uh, Maritza. Please number four. Number four. I hope the computer won't turn off. Again, again. Yeah, turn off again. We, I hope, just better, I hope. Thank you. Daniel, could you help me with number five, please? If you don't lubricate these types of mechanic regularly, they will tighten up. Seria size. Okay. Size. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So... If you don't lubricate, uh, they will say up. Como que se va a endurar. Se va como. Mm, it's going to get stuck. Se va como atorar. So that's why. If you don't lubricate uh, these types of machines regularly, they will say up. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Se va. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, my friends. Well done. Uh, as you can see, um, this is not like complicated. You already know the phrasal verbs that we have studied here, but we're going to check some other phrasal verbs, okay? But before we continue with this topic, we have to reinforce the simple present. Vamos a, pues, siempre a recordar el, I'm sorry, at the present perfect, tenemos el presente perfecto, okay? Remember has or have. And the verb in um, past participle, I'm going to show you 
to the this form. So you can have like a feedback. I know that this is not difficult for you, right? Because you already know how to apply present perfect. But anyway, I guess uh, if you notice the the structure, that is going to be kind of helpful. Okay, look at this. Question, have or has, then you, the subject, and past participle, past participle. Well, you are beginners five. We are about to finish uh, this module, right? So, and then you're going to be beginners six and then intermediates. It means that you already know a lot, but a lot of verbs in simple present, simple past, and past participle. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Do a par de segundos. Look at this, and we're going to complete uh, this worksheet. Okay, let's see what we have here. Maybe <clears throat> we can start with Rosalie. Any idea for this? Here we have just eight um, questions. Nothing complicated, right? Yes, and the number one, who has? I'm sorry, who has? Both the yeah. newspaper. Mm -hmm. Who has uh, bought the newspaper? Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Um, maybe Maritza and then Rivas. Number three, mm -hmm. my parents have eaten dinner yet. Okay.
Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, who else? Rivas and then David. Number six, teacher. Yeah. She had decided where to go on holidays. Okay, good one. And uh, well, David, and then Gustavo. Number eight, teacher. Yeah, please. Uh, where to have parked the car? Yes. Where have? Mm -hmm. Solo ese camp. Where? Yes. Where have okay. you parked? Mm -hmm. Parked the car. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, definitely, this. thank you. Gustavo, and then we we'll go with Eduardo. Okay, teacher. Um, has, has she drink her glass of the water? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sería drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, well, Eduardo, right? Eduardo, and then we go with Luisa. Okay, uh, number five. Five. Have you ever missed the bus? Perfect. That's correct. Uh huh. Luisa, are you there? Two or seven. Okay, this a question. Uh, he has. Okay, number two. Uh, yes. Hmm? Yes, he has met your family. Yes. Okay, but has is at the beginning. Has, uh huh. Yes. Okay. Has he met mm -hmm. the family okay. yet? Okay. Guillermo, could you help me with number seven? That that's the last one. Why? And okay. always using hmm, present perfect. Mm, let me see. Why? He hasn't finished his homework. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's move to to the song. Vamos a la parte de la canción. Okay. What's the name of this song? And for this, let me check. I guess Eduardo, right? Yes, teacher. Or not? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Are you ready, Eduardo? Yes. Perfect. Now you can share. Um, I don't find. In the middle, in the down downside, parte de abajo. Oh, see. Yes, yes, I see. Verde. Yeah, green bottom. Nice. Eh, ¿Ya pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, yes, we can see. 
Okay. Uh, this is the the letter of the song. Perfect. I find subject pronouns. Uh, I uh, is a subject pronouns. Object pronouns. Me, you, and it. Possessive adjectives. My. It's only this. Adverbios. What verbs? Finally and really. Eh, con estos tengo dudas. Present. Present continuous. Ajá. Continuous. I, I couldn't know. H. Ajá. Very Simple nice. present. Let me out. Yes. I'm good at repairs. I'm under. And who think is. Simple past, que es con los, ¿cómo era el, el, la descripción de estos verbos? El couldn't, ah, modal, modal auxiliary. Modal, with modal verbs, could be there, and should be scared, and simple future, I make it all. And that's it, I, I find. Okay, very nice. ¿Podrías leer una parte de la canción, please? Yes, finally someone let me out of my cage. Now time for me is nothing because I'm cutting no age. Now I could be there. Now you should be there, be scared. I'm good at repairs and I'm under each snare. Okay. Um perfect. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe does anybody have an idea about this song? Porque no, no, I don't know. It's a band or a singer? It's a band. It's a band. Sí. Okay. A uh, band from United States? Yes. From United States. Band from <laughs> Rock? Music? Yes, rock music. Rock music. Alternative rock, maybe. Alternative rock. Mm. Rosalie? <laughs> no, Marita? I don't have yeah. idea. <laughs> no. Okay. Hey. Um, no. I say you. Uh, uh no i i, I don't like rock <laughs> ah come on rosalie okay oh. yeah i like it i like rock but i don't yeah i don't imagine what band is it it's, okay it's, or... it's it's like a, a rap maybe es, like, eh, es del, de la banda Gorilas. Ah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Ok, ya. Yes. Yeah, that's it. It's a very. That is one of the, the most famous songs. Yes. They, they have a the lot. First, of... It's the first they, they, they have. Ok, the first. Yeah. They have good music. Yes. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok. Thank you, Eduardo. Very nice. And well, we have some music and very well worked. Estaba, está bien trabajado, la verdad. Well worked because you use colors, you underline, and you use categories. Thank you, my friend. Very well done. Okay, Rosalie, tu momento ha llegado, Rosalie. <laughs> okay, teacher. For tomorrow, para mañana. Okay, para terminar la okay. unidad. Tres. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you're ready. More than ready. Estás más que listo. Okay. So, um, don't worry. Relax. It is not like a big deal. No es una gran. Complicado. Okay. Well, um, we're going to uh, work on. Here we have a.
one activity from the manual. Tenemos una actividad del manual. And here we have a role play. We have to create a conversation in the same way we have been working. Short conversations. Y pues todos van a participar. Tenemos uh, student A and student B. Okay, so you are a supervisor. B, you are a maintenance personnel. So you both have to check that the machine has received the necessary maintenance. Ask and, and answer questions using phrasal verbs. Vamos a utilizar eh, these phrasal verbs. Vamos a utilizar esto, ¿verdad? Alguien va a ser el supervisor y alguien va a ser el de mantenimiento. Okay? Maybe I'm going to check this. Porque los otros ya los tienen. Okay? Um, you can... Okay, or maybe I can check some others. Vamos a ver si este y otro. So let me check this. Déjame revisar esto. Este. Finalmente me estaba fallando PowerPoint. No sé por qué. Just give me a second. Let's go with this. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to present some price adverbs. Le voy a presentar algunos price adverbs que son útiles. Para la conversación, if you want to add this, si quieren agregar cualquiera de estos, eh, Marisa, could you send a screenshot, please, of this? Eh, son eh, phrasal verbs utilizando la palabra up al final. Puede ser. Eh, remember that in every company we have different types of machinery. Mm -hmm. It can be a photocopy machine, puede ser una fotocopiadora, coffee maker, una cafetera, microwave. It can be a printer, a computer, a scanner, air conditioner, aire acondicionado. It can be like water filter, filtro de agua. Um, it can be like, okay, snack supplier. Puede ser un contenedor de, de, de golosinas, okay? All of these things you can talk about, okay? De todo eso pueden hablar. Uh, remember, supervisor and maintenance. Ya tienen ustedes, you already have the, the conversation which we practice, la que nosotros ya practicamos, okay? Pueden utilizar cualquiera de esos phrasal verbs. Recuerden utilizar phrasal verbs. You can use the same phrasal verbs from the conversation before or these ones. O pueden tomar estos como ejemplo. Okay, I'm going to give you like seven minutes and then we come back and everybody is going to participate. Remember, short conversations, como las que ustedes ya han estado trabajando. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Okay, thank you. I need you to accept the request. Okay, maybe Luisa. Necesito que aceptes, Luisa. And also Riva, yes.
Okay, let's listen to some of your uh, conversations. And let's listen to some of you. And we're going to, well, we're about to finish this class. Maybe we can start with Rivas and Eduardo. Uh, I don't know if you have short conversation. It is not necessarily to have like a big or a long conversation because I know that you have some minutes, right? Eduardo and Rivas, ready? Okay, teacher. Please go. Okay. Uh, good evening. I need help on machine number 11. I think it is necessary to clean up eventually. I give my diagnosis when I check it out. I will also call up the electrician to check the circuit. Okay, that's correct. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, good price adverbs used. Thank you. Excellent work. Uh, Daniel and Guillermo. And then we go with David and Oscar. Okay, Daniel and Guillermo, yeah. please. No, no le puedo enviar la conversación a Guillermo porque no sé si está ocupado. Ok, no problem. Sí, sí, quizás eh, le surgió algo. Ok. Thank you, Daniel. Let's go with David and Oscar and then Maritza and Rosalía. Ok, David and Oscar. Any... Ok, teacher. Este, espero ver, <laughs> esperamos haber comprendido correctamente. No problem. Let's try. Let's try. You relax. Ok. Okay, good morning, Oscar. Good morning, David. Could you, could you help me to verif verify if you have received the cutting machine? Yes, with pleasure. The machine can, can cut up satisfactory. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Yeah. Well done uh, because you use price adverbs. Even uh, the conversation is short, but well done. Thank you, David and Oscar. Uh, Maritza and Rosalie, and after we go with Luisa and Gustavo. Okay, Maritza. Show time. Yvonne, I need your help. Sure. What is the problem? The computer is turned off. Check the cable and the connection is good. Okay. I think it needs clean up. In a moment, show up to change. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Well done, thank you. And Luisa and Gustavo. Okay, DJ. Okay, okay DJ. I'm going to try. Yeah, okay. please. <laughs> yes. Hi, good morning, Luisa. Could you help me? Uh, hello, uh, Gustavo. Uh, how can I help you? I need to, to clean up the water filter. Okay, I need to care to see if we have a sport pack in a stop. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, only up. <laughs> well done, thank you. Yes, my friends, okay? Uh, you don't have problems with this topic, okay? Even I know that it is not that easy because here we have like, uh, sometimes like small difficulties with this, Difficulties with the the meaning, right? The meaning of this price verbs. Okay, last activity, we say goodbye. Eh, la última actividad y decimos adiós. Okay, talk about the worst things in your company. I need you to text. Van Only one thing that you consider it's negative, it's bad. Mm, maybe because you have seen that situation because uh, some of your partners have told you or by experience. Okay, so you can say, for example, 
of uh, treatment by my you can say bad treatment by my supervisor okay that's one example okay i'm going to be reading uh, your uh, comments okay le doy unos dos tres segundos no mentira un minuto para que lo hagamos okay and then we say goodbye pero es necesario que it's necessary to watch your comments. Okay, um, we're about to finish. Here we have this. Well, uh, Eduardo says, it's very far of my house. Okay, I understand. Eduardo, how much time do you take from your house to your job? I have to drive one hour. Yeah, one hour. And sometimes depends on the traffic, right? You can take more yes, time. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's... That's really negative and expensive because of gasoline. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Thank you, Eduardo. Rosalie says, rotating shifts in production areas, they are night and no monetary recognition for experienced employees. Yeah. Experienced employees are the base of companies, Rosalie. And rotating shifts, uh, yeah, that really affect. Luisa says, the worst thing is that the preference is seen in some department. Mm -hmm. And the preference can be not only with favors, but also with equipment, with sources, a lot of things. And Evelyn, a machine destroyed the fingers of a colleague. Wow, yeah, that's part of the security. It could be industrial security. And yeah, and even that should be like um assurance. Debería haber seguro para eso. Yeah, the company should take this. Okay, sí, thank you. Distracción, como una distracción de, de parte de él, ¿verdad? Y ahí fue donde. Oh, ay, come on. Error. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Accidents happen, but we have to be very active. And especially with some dangerous machinery. Thank you. Um, Maritza says, the working hours are long. 
Mm. What do you mean by that, Maritza? Uh, do you work extra hours or do you mean the, the do you work more than usually? I work 30 minutes more from Monday to Friday. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you count all those minutes, uh, yeah, in the month, it is like hours. And yeah, it's more time, definitely. Thank you. Uh, Oscar says, there are a few vehicles in the company and a few industrial printers. Okay, yeah. It's like limited sources. And if the company uh, wants more results or better results, a uh, company has to provide uh, better materials or uh, sources. Riva says, senior managers sometimes believe that they are right when sometimes they are not. Rivas, I guess this ha this happens with a senior managers. Sometimes they are young. Sometimes they don't have the experience, but they have like a profession or a degree. And because of that, they consider that they know everything. But no, I consider that experience is the base of everything. And unfortunately, it happens. Okay, my friends, it's time to say goodbye. Um, Maritza, could you stay a couple of minutes after the class for the session? Okay, teacher. Okay, solo una pregunta. David, eh, tú ya te quedaste con la sesión uno a uno. Yes, teacher. Sí. Okay. Que no te había marcado acá. Okay, Maritza, te me quedas entonces unos eh, minutitos. The rest... Solo necesito que me dejen el pulgar arriba, thumb up, en el chat. Porque sí, se nos fue el tiempo. Y esa va a ser eh, la asistencia. That, that is going to be the attendance test, okay? My friends, eh, please eh, finish the unit number three. Termine la unidad tres. Mañana terminamos la unidad tres. Y ya estaríamos ya comenzando la unidad cuatro, la final, okay? Mañana unidad tres, la terminamos, okay? Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Bye-bye, my friends. Descansen. Have rest. Bye-bye. Okay, Maritza. Vamos a ver acá. Um, eh, any question? Pregunta, Maritza, con respecto a la plataforma. O algo que consideres que te ha generado duda, te ha generado como una complicación. Cuando estaba buscando la canción, este, encontré que el apóstrofe a veces lo ponen al final. ¿Pero qué significa? Ok, eso es parte del inglés informal, fíjate. Te voy a explicar. Ajá. Y... Sí, También por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, por oh, ejemplo, esta. Because, en lugar de because, también. Esta. Mm. En lugar de coming, coming home. Por ejemplo, si dices, I'm coming home, ya voy a casa. Eh, la otra sería, yeah, yeah. cause. Mm -hmm. Hay otros, por ejemplo, Gora. Mm -hmm. eh, Gona. Guana. Ajá. Y esto significa God mm -hmm. to. Eh, going to. Want to. Pero este es, this is part of informal English, ¿verdad? Es... Mm -hmm. ¿Sabes? ¿Sabes a qué a qué lo podemos asociar? Uh -huh. Al perame. Uh -huh. Cuando decimos, ¿verdad? Esperame. Esperame, un momento, esperame. No, decimos perame o perate. ¿Verdad, Maritza? Entonces, sí. ajá. Um, o a veces decimos auritita. Necesito reportar ahorita, ahorita, 
ahorita, ahorita. Entonces, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese ahorita es, what? <risa> ¿verdad? Eh, y cuestiones así, ¿verdad? Que es parte de, de, del, del inglés informal. Esto normalmente, ah, hay otro. Es el ain't. No sé si has visto el ain't. El ain't, este, fíjate bien, este es, te sugiero que lo anotes. El ain't sirve para el not, para el don o para el doesn't, para todo eso. Imagínate, eh, por ejemplo, en lugar que, que digas, ella no trabaja los sábados. She doesn't work on Saturdays. Puedes decir, she ain't work on Saturdays. Fíjate. O en lugar de, tú no trabajas domingo. You don't work on Sunday. You ain't work on Sunday. Fíjate, lo genial sería que lo aplicáramos, pero esto es un inglés informal que no se ah. va a utilizar en las empresas, en una entrevista de trabajo. No, es verdad. Y normalmente este tipo de inglés no es escrito. Obviamente sí se escribe para las letras de las canciones, pero esto es para conversaciones informales, para canciones. Ok. Uh -huh. Así que sí, sería eso, Maritza. Pero uh, básicamente eh, son alteraciones de palabras o frases, pero la, tiene una estructura. In, e incluso hay una canción, no recuerdo, hay una eh, de un grupo que se llama Pearl Jam, que en la canción aparece ese, He don't know. No es He doesn't know. Y yo me quedé como, uh -huh. bueno, porque yo estaba... En lo, aprendiendo inglés cuando encontré eso entonces si sí se puede dije. so that's correct but no es, es informal es incorrecto pero es, lo hacen con una intención tiene un, un, un sentido porque habla de una persona que te variaba eh, como que una persona que tenía como sí, mmm, eh, imaginaba cosas entonces como no estaba bien entonces la canción no estaba gramaticalmente bien por eso Mm. Entonces, pues, y don't know. Es por eso, pero tiene una intención, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí se dan eh, estas cosas. No sé si habías encontrado otra frase o otro, otra palabra, porque en las canciones normalmente sí se encuentra. Ajá, no, solo encontré esa guana, gona, it's cold. Ahora, uh -huh. uh, sí, sí, quiero ver. Sí, sí, es, es, esas son las, las, las principales. Y te vas a dar cuenta que el inglés, entre más la letra era, la canción sea más rápida cantada, eh, se pronuncia menos las letras. En cambio, si sí. son románticas, si son lentas, um, va, se pronuncian normalmente bien. Y si son antiguas, entre más antiguas, eh, lo pronuncian mejor. O sea, mejor me refiero a la palabra completa. Entre más recientes son, se pronuncia menos menos. Sí, hay palabras que cuesta entender. Sí, cuesta, pero después te, va, te vas a dar cuenta de que ya es cuestión de lógica y tu cerebro ya lo va como adaptando, aunque siempre va a costar, o sea, escuchar hip hop, rap, eso es complicadísimo, pero ya después de tanto un, escuchar conversaciones y sí, gente con descendencia o ascendencia afroamericana y tú, China, pues tú, ah, ya, ya capté. Entonces, sí, es poco a poco, María. ¿Y cuál es la idea de, de escuchar las canciones en inglés? Porque las escucho, pero no entiendo. Ah, porque tenés que adaptar tu cerebro, Maritza. Tenés que adaptar principalmente los coros. Con los coros. No es necesario que... El, hay canciones que en mi caso sí las canto, pero no les pongo atención. Pero los coros siempre te quedan, o los títulos de las canciones. Entonces, ¿estás sumando vocabulario? Sí. ¿Estás haciendo ejercicio de listening? Uh -huh. Mientras te divertís. Por eso yo siempre digo, encuentren artistas que les gusten y todo eso. Y es, pues ahí van a ir. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ese es el, el, el punto. ¿Verdad? De eso. Y cuando ya escuchas esos artistas, eh, mira las entrevistas de esos artistas en inglés y todo eso. Y utilizan palabras también, pues. Y ya, 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 ya se captan o si tenés por ejemplo algún actor que, que te guste en inglés 
mira las entrevistas que le hacen a él y te vas a dar cuenta que como ya lo has estado escuchando, su titula, eh, 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 su titula ya en, los, en, los, en las entrevistas, le vas a captar más. Así que pues mm. es, es adaptación. Es que eso no falta. Sí, sí, te, te recomiendo eso porque se trata de adaptarse. Eh, ¿Tú manejas? No. No. Vaya, el ejemplo claro es como cuando compras un nuevo celular y, la, y, y está diferente. Eh, o las nuevas actualizaciones de WhatsApp y de Facebook al inicio, como que uno le cuenta un poco. Pero a medida que uno lo va utilizando ya se vuelve práctico y es automático. Entonces, así es el inglés. Por eso es bueno para, pues, hablar con alguien porque ya le pero ya te está un minuto, dos minutos, ya vas entrando en sintonía. Como cuando agarras un carro, de repente o sea, te dan un pickup y de ahí te dan un, un microbús. Al inicio cuesta, pero después ya, ya la ya, ya tenés una cierta base. Entonces, esa sería la analogía. Marisa. Ánimo. Mm. Eres muy Gracias. lista, eres muy inteligente. Veo que te gusta bastante y, y siento que has avanzado bastante este módulo. Ya te siento sí, suelta. Sí. sí, he aprendido. ¿Te das cuenta que estás más suelta? Más, ya, hablas más rápido, más aquí. Me sí. alegra mucho, man. Te felicito. Así que ánimo, ya casi terminamos este módulo, ¿ok? Sí, gracias. Pasa feliz noche. Cuídate. Feliz noche. Gracias bye bye. igual. Bye, bye.